Me helping? Okay. Good morning. It is Friday. Friday. We made it. It's the end of the week. I mean, it's only Friday morning. It's nine in the morning. Um, Bean and I are shortly headed out to Costco. We have a whole list of things we need to get because it has been a hot minute. But first, this is kind of going to be like a Costco haul. I don't think I'm going to film much in there because it's just me with the bean getting lots of stuff on a time limit because I'm timing it to go to Costco to do all of our shopping, check out, get everything in the car before I have to go pick Felix up from his program and take him to daycare back here in town. But we do have a few things to show you. So the other night, the other night, last night? No, Wednesday night, I ducked out after um, I got Augie to sleep. Uh, sir, oh my goodness. As you can see why, trying to get anything done with this guy around. Actually, you're pretty easy going. You're pretty good. It's a little tricky. So we needed a couple like grocery items just to tie us over until now that I'm going to Costco. Yeah. Um, you want that? Okay. Mm -hmm. But truthfully, it was kind of a bust because all of the fruit, I mean, they didn't have raspberries. They had blueberries and strawberries. So I ended up getting just one thing of bananas and no berries because literally every, I don't know what to call them, like every clam shell of strawberries was like smush and dripping and disgusting. So like, I'm sorry, food is already heckin' expensive. I am, I am not going to spend money on strawberries we can't eat. They were that bad. But I did get some other things. I got the boys some Easter stuff. And I got some things for me because, um, you know, sometimes you need to treat yourself. So I thought I would show you that. I did need some things, so it wasn't just like I'm splurging for no reason. My hair bands are all stretched out. And also, like, I have maybe three Lululemon ones. Seriously, guys, don't waste your money. Like, if you're buying it for the brand and you have the money, go for Really? Go for it. But otherwise... Ye old goodie brand from, okay, I guess I'll show you that in a second. So um, I needed a new mascara, needed. I don't really wear makeup a lot right now, but like, sir, you can't just keep throwing everything on the floor. Okay, back to the hair band, I guess. So I got this. It's got the no slippy grippies on the back. And I got it because, like I said, most of mine are stretched out. The Lululemon ones, um, at least the ones that I have, don't have like a grippy on the back of them. And I don't know if my head's just a funny shape or something, but like it always slides back. And two of the Lulu ones I have are like the two inch wide. It's too big for me. And the one that I have that's an inch wide is so old. Like I got it like over 10 years ago. It's so stretched out that it just doesn't stay. Uh, even when I wash it and it like shrinks back, but it, the recovery is just not there. So I got myself a hairband, five bucks maybe, which is stupid expensive, but here we are. Some other like hair related items. I got this Dove Hair Therapy Dry Scalp Care. Hey, we made it. So it's a moisturizing leave-on scalp treatment with vitamin B3. Do I care what vitamins are in it? Heck no, but I feel like, um, Probably because I like to shower um, in the fiery depths of hell that uh, my scalp's really dry. Probably because the water's so freaking hot. But you know, sometimes that's just what you need in life. So I haven't opened these yet because I wanted to show them to you guys. Sir, can I have this one? So I'm excited about this. It's just like a, like lift your, think like dry shampoo, like lift your hair. Squirt it on. Um, probably massage it in. Um, okay, you're using that. Perfect. Yay. I have to dive again. One second. Dive! 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 Baby! And we're resurfacing. Thank you, sir. Mascara. I meant to say this earlier. Eh? Eh? Alright, Maybelline Pitch Black Snap Scara Waterproof. Easy Glide Brush. It says it's... Really? Really? Easy on, easy off. Truthfully, I wanted an inexpensive black mascara with the curvy brush um, for all of those times I don't wear makeup. 
But I do sometimes. Like if we're going somewhere fancy, which I mean is basically never a clock because I have three kids and one of them's really difficult. Not his fault. It just is what it is. Also, when am I gonna go anywhere? Like things, it's just the theme of today is it's too expensive. Um, and I am a homebody. I don't want to go anywhere. I have no desire to go out. I mean, it would be nice to have a date night, but five-year plan, ten-year plan, who knows at this point. Mama needed a new moisturizer. So uh, we were just at my parents' house, and my mom has the um, e.l.f. I think it's like Hello Hydration or Holy Hydration or something, these like little jars. And I was like, yo. I didn't say yo to my mom, but I mean, sometimes I do. How do you like it? Is it good? Is it worth it? Because like e.l.f. is an affordable brand, which I appreciate. And like truthfully, I've been, <laughs> okay, A, I don't wash my face very often, most especially because I don't really wear makeup right now. So my face gets, gets washed when I shower. And by gets washed, I mean water runs on it. Um, and that's pretty much, that's what I do. So when I moisturize it, out of coming out of the world's hottest shower, uh, I've just been using the Aveeno like intense eczema baby cream that we have like for the boys. It comes in like a jar. I'll insert a picture. It comes in like a jar. It's super thick because like Felix's hands and hands most especially because he's always got them in his mouth and his feet. I think just because of him being in braces and stuff, they're always really really dry. So like especially after bath time, we like load them up. But yeah, I've been using that at, like at nighttime and it's fine. But I need something that is just like quick and easy. So daily hydration moisturizer. I will let you know how that goes as well. And then I'm just about out of foundation. And truthfully, I'm not 20 anymore. I'm 36. And you're right, man? Cool. My, if you can hear me, I don't, I don't even know. My skin is not the skin of a 20 or even 26 year old Sarah. It's the skin of a 36 year old Sarah, mom of three, stressed out, barely sleeping. And you know, maybe things would be better if I like exfoliated. I I've been using the like Lumi, Lumi, L'Oreal, Lumi, is it L'Oreal, Lumi? I don't know. I have two of them, I have um, the neutral one to two, which I think is their lightest shade in the neutral section. And then I have neutral three for summer when I have a little bit more color on my skin. Because obviously I'm older than I was 10 years ago, the same foundation, like it's too much. I feel like it's just too, it's like a layer. It doesn't meld with my skin. Even if I use a sponge or if I use a nice brush, like it's just, I just feel like it's too heavy. So I decided Okay, A, really hope this color works for me. I got fair, which is usually what I go with. I did test it out on my hand and it seemed fine, but obviously your hand is not your face. Um, it's the CoverGirl Clean and Fresh Skin Milk. So it is a very sheer buildable coverage. Buildable is key because like I find like on my little schnoz, I, it's very red. So I would like a little bit more coverage on my nose, um, but Blurs imperfections, evens out skin skin tone, instant and all day hydration. So it's got coconut milk and aloe in it. Um, I've rambled on for approximately 10 minutes now. Oh, no, my camera's telling me it's 12 minutes. And we need to get a move on because I wanted to be at Costco at 9.30. It's currently 9.20. But you know, it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. We should, we just gonna chew on it? We should probably go. So again, don't think I'll be filming much in Costco, but I will let you know what we get when we come home. I will film the um, unpackaging haul of it all. Peekaboo! <laughs> Are you having your poachy? Yeah. You say in the back of the car is full. There's another bag behind that car seat. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta go get Felix. You gotta finish your poachy. Yeah. You gotta finish it. Oh, I just dropped my list out of my pocket. Okay, so Bean's having a pouch. I got almost, oh my God, I got almost everything on the list. I'm starting to shake because I need to eat something. Um, so I have a little snack in my pocket. Yeah, no, that's for you. That's your pouch. 
Um, so I'm just gonna wait for Bean to finish his little pouchy and then get a move on to get to uh, the center where Felix is to go pick him up and then take him to daycare and then come home and then unload the car. And then I'll show you everything I got. I'm exhausted. My nose is red because it's still cold outside. It's only like four degrees. Uh, and I like to travel light, so I didn't bother bringing a coat with me. But I have everything inside. Augustine is down for a nap, a much needed nap. Poor kid. He fell asleep on the drive to Costco, but like not the whole drive, just part of the drive. So he only napped like 20 minutes. I thought maybe he'd fall back asleep as I carried him around the store in the carrier because I had him on my chest. No. No, it was too exciting. It was too busy. He is napping and God willing he'll sleep for like a solid two hours because he really needs it That would be great and that will give me a chance to get all of this stuff put away and somewhat organized and then in here we have other Necessary items when you have little kids Rice puddings Grapefruits, I mean I say it's for little kids the grapefruits are for me and Peter um, though Felix will eat them too. And Casper's kind of hit and miss. Breaded fish. Um, crispy chicken boobies. And chicken strips. So these things actually will probably go to the garage. Let me check the freezer. I've been doing pretty good on loading the freezer and stuff. But actually, I might put this stuff back here and take it to the freezer in the garage. Is that a good idea? I think so. So far, so good. Ignore that this says pouchies. Back when I only had one kid, slash a tiny, tiny Felix who didn't eat as much as he does now, um, and also we didn't know he had problems, this was a big enough container for the pouches that we needed to keep in the house, and now we have one of these big guys, which, I mean, is kind of empty right now, but there's other stuff here, so it's all fine. Now we're gonna go through this giant box and these goodies. Most of the rest of this is unpacked now. I got some fruit, so we have some plums, a big thing of raspberries, and a nice big thing of strawberries. I picked the best one I could find, but the strawberries at Walmart the other day were disgusting, so this is better than nothing. A big thing of apples, because Casper's obsessed with apples. Bananas, broccoli, a small spring mix that I'm hoping to use in wraps and for lunches. I decided to get hemp hearts. Um, even though Casper can't have like a ton of additional protein, I feel like this is an okay thing because it's not like super high in protein. 10 grams per table, three tablespoons to put in his um, smoothies when he wants a smoothie. I got some sweet bell peppers. Some, well, I guess they're not bell peppers, they're sweet twister peppers. Uh, got some French green beans. I got a big thing of bread because Casper is currently on a white bread kick, but it's enriched, I'm pretty sure. It's better than the white bread I had when I was a kid. I had some provolone and I got some turkey. 
And what do I have over here? Oh, I got, there you go, um, garlic powder. I didn't get chili powder because I couldn't find it. I got a huge thing of the Annie's brand um, mac and cheese. Dishwasher pucks because we were just about out. A full thing of Krusty's pancake mix and some chocolate chips because, I mean, obviously. And what do we have here? I got a multi-pack of applesauce pouches because we use applesauce for Casper's meds. Also, they're a great snack. I've already ripped into these because I had two on my drive between Costco and picking up Felix. Um, they're called Keto Bombs. I also left a hair fuzzy on it. That's nice. So uh, one's chocolate fudge, one's peanut butter. They're actually pretty good, so recommend those if that's your jam. And then I got these for school lunches, like for snacks, because they're peanut tree nut free, so Casper can take them to school. And then I also got a pack, well it's a three pack, of the Tazo chai tea latte, because uh, Peter and I have been on a chai tea latte kick, and so I thought that might make our lives easier. And then lastly, though this will go in my Easter video, um, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. My children need new water bottles like I need a hole in my head, which is to say they don't. However, I just feel like having water bottles is sort of like a good thing. And it's a three pack and I have three children. And I mean, isn't it meant to be? Um, yeah, I think so. So I figure, let's see here. Bean can have the giraffe. Casper can have the um, alien because he's so smart, it blows me out of this world. And then Felix can have the um, alligator, crocodile, swamp creature. And there's straws, let's see. See, it's got the straw lid and the angled straw. I don't know. I think that'll be good because um, they all like ones with straws. And, uh, yeah. Do I need an excuse? It's going in their Easter baskets. Whatever, man. situation here. Obviously I know that I will have more space when I go through the meat that's in this fridge. Sorry I'm all over the place. So like all of this here will be dealt with. So I'll have more space there and then the chicken pot pie I'm gonna cook for dinner tonight so I'll have space there too. I just don't have it right now. because uh, Felix likes to climb. And despite everything going on in his brain, he's still very clever. And I worry that he will know that the stool is there. So I think what I might do, because we got on applesauce right now, but it's always good for us to keep it stocked because of meds. So the big box, I might open it to have like the three sleeves and I might just stick them down there on top of the stool so he can't get it out. Um, I don't know. I 
Okay, we're getting there. Um, I'm taking my time. I've been rearranging a little bit just so that everything kind of fits better. Um, so, progress. I'm gonna crack these open into the three individual things and fit them in somewhere. The same with this, the chai tea stuff. I'm gonna crack those open, fit them in here somewhere. I don't really know. Just flying by the seat of my pants. with the fruit haven't done that yet probably should have done that before I did this but that's okay um, so chocolate chips have been refilled and this is a little bit reorganized kids snacks like Felix and bean I moved the oil to here so it's more accessible I can't put it down here where I want to put it because Felix can figure out how to open a cap and I don't want this filling everywhere so it is up here and then we've got bread pancake mixes um, I store my natural almond butter upside down because the oil likes to go to the top. So if the bottom becomes the top and you let all of the oil float, then when it's time to use it, it's easier to mix the oil back in. Follow me for more breakfast tips. Juice boxes and Casper is currently on a rice cake kick. Rice crispy, like this is all like lunch stuff. So juice boxes, rice krispies, cookies. Um, I found these like cheese its up in the top, so Casper can have those in his lunch if he wants. And then there's granola bars and fruit snacks. There's popcorn in here, like I was saying, this random ginger drink that I don't drink it, but Peter does. And then more like chippies and stuff like that. Um, baby food pouches. I only bought a few when I was at the store on Wednesday because Bean's been eating like actual food, so we're going through less of them. And we keep the prune ones separate so that uh, we know where they are. Mum Mum crackers, and this is just like the applesauce section for Casper's medication, and currently for Felix's one medication. Um, this little carousel's got more snacks in it for school. So, fruit to go, cereal bars, and bear paws. Sauce is back there. This is like cooking accoutrement. Um, so I put the breadcrumbs just in the middle, but salt and pepper, oil and vinegar, that usually, oh, and these because we were trying these to get Felix to drink water but he's been okay lately and then we come all the way down here plastic wrap random veggies extra stuff protein powder extra cereal extra pancake mix and then we've got like dry stuff so I guess that's not dry chai latte a stack of craft dinner extra apple sauces more extra apple sauces extra freezer bags our can situation which I mean don't look at it too closely because the kids like to rearrange it by the kids I mean Bean and Felix my grandma's big pot our roasting pan because I have nowhere else to put it right now air fryer stool with the rice on it so the kids can't get it out so I mean I don't know about you but I'm gonna say that's a pretty dang successful Costco trip for only having half an hour to do it. I think I did pretty good. I'm gonna go put the fruit away now. I just wanted to say thank you for coming with me on this little Costco haul, even though I didn't take you in the store because time limit, baby, life. Also, I'm embarrassed. I don't wanna go filming in stores. It's just weird for me. Maybe five year plan. Maybe I'll get better at it. I don't know. Um, I would say I'm hydrating, but we all know this isn't decaf. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like it. I guess that's the same thing. Subscribe if you haven't already and share it with a friend because we all need a little bit of realistic motivation in our lives. And if that comes in the form of watching me unload a bunch of stuff from Costco, then welcome, I'm glad you're here. 
and I'm glad you stayed till the end. So uh, hang around, maybe hit the notification bell because it'll tell you when I upload. I try to upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Doesn't always happen because kids, life, that's what it is, it ain't what it ain't. Wherever you go, there you are. So we'll see you next time, bye.